It comes down now to where the spectators' number one event rodeo is the bull riding. And we've got an expert here. So I'm gonna lend a lot of the time in this deal because Don, you was a student of the game. I mean, uh, you you understood that uh, one of these deals we're gonna get a conversation at a later time. Between, they said between you and Jerome Robinson, y'all have a photostatic memory of bulls, their names and their numbers better than anybody. And that makes you what I call a student of the game. Or you can say, what about old blacks? And yeah, I know some of the famous ones, but I've seen on Facebook where somebody will post a picture and you'll say, that ain't that bull, that's some other bull. And, so, and most of the time you'll be right. And I don't, know what, I don't know where that comes from, but I just always had a great recall for the bulls that I saw buck, bulls that I saw pictures of buck. Uh, you know, in our day, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have video that we could check out a bull before we got uh, on an airplane to go get on him. Uh, so you kind of had to go with word of mouth and people that did know. Did you uh, have it in your head or did you have a list? No, 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 no. I had it on my head. I really Because see, like in the steers, I'd have lists and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and to this point, we're getting off the bat, but we're going to go back to this bull run in a second. What helped me, and I don't know about you, Mac Altizer helped me with anything. He said, Byron, if you will learn the good ones and the bad ones, the rest of them are all in between. Yeah. So, the, and we mostly paid attention to how the steer left, if he really left hard or didn't leave hard. Mm -hmm. Because once you got the start, the pretty much the rest of it took care of yourself. Right, right. And before we go to this bull riding, I want to say one thing about my bull riding career. It lasted two bulls, but it was the same bull. My first bull and last bull mm -hmm. was the same bull. same bull. And that bull didn't go very far to where I knew <laughs> this ain't for me. <laughs> but let me tell you fans something. I loved bull riding. I could put them spurs on, put them shaps on, walk around and rose in that rope behind the deal, set my hat over to the side, maybe smoke me a cigarette when I was 13 years old mm -hmm. until I got on and took that wrap on the White Angel and I done that, everything else went bad. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you have this about my bull riding story. That's enough, but I thought I had to share that with you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, that's a good one, but like you said, you, you, you're smart enough to know when. Yeah. <laughs> now, we've got a great lineup of bull riders for this year's NFR, and you know, golly Moses, you gotta pull for Sage Kimsey. I know, I talked to Donnie Gay, several times a week still, and Donnie pulls for him as hard as anybody I know of. I, I believe that. And uh, Donnie wants to see him do well. Donnie's not afraid of him breaking his record, and Sage has got as good a crack at it as anybody that's ever been. Well, the uh, best part about that right there, by Sage after his record, people are mentioning Donnie, so that's what he's liking. Yeah, well, that's right. That's right. He stays relevant. He stays in the conversation. But it's pretty easy for him to stay relevant, but Donnie does a good job. But uh, man, oh man, have you got some guys chasing Sage? I mean, barking at his tail lights. He's got Stetson Wright. He's got Clayton Sellers. Uh, I think these guys put a little fire in Sage that he didn't win it last year. Kind of pissed him off a little uh, bit. I think so too. I think, uh, so I think too. he I thought, think, you know, I need to step it up. I tell you what, I've watched Sage uh, pretty much all year, and he has really, really become much more focused in the last few months than I've seen him in a long time. Uh, uh, I, he's I riding that. with uh, 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 a, a lot of confidence. Uh, he's getting off now with a lot of confidence too. And I tell you what, I think that's important. Uh, these guys that 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 ride bulls, you got to know how to ride, but you got to know how to make that exit when the time comes too, and because you got to get on another one tomorrow or maybe if, that night. If we will remember and go back to last year, and I'm not making excuses for Sage, it's just an outside deal. Somewhere last year, and I don't know if it's Belfoose or somewhere. They broke egg and him kind of hurt him getting off or something. He and, and I I wasn't a hundred percent sure the rest of the year. He's still riding, but I didn't think he was a hundred percent last year too because well, there was somewhere in well Belfoose. I don't remember exactly, and don't check me on that. We'll go, we'll go back to Google yeah. on that. But this year he's rode sound the whole year. He has. He's he's been a lot. Well, he, the last half of the year he's been a lot healthier. And uh, uh, but again, making a concerted effort to get away clean and get off that bull in a, in a, in a way that you can get away from them and, and uh, live to ride another day. How old is Sage now? 
Oh, Let's man. look up here. He's got his profile here with us because, you know, we, we think he's been around. He's just 27. I mean, you know, it's kind of like crop dusters. There's not a lot of, he's getting to the, he's got well, Donnie on the radar, but I mean, he, he ain't got a whole lot of years left. Well, at, but, but the thing about it is he is in good physical shape. He takes care of himself. He obviously works out, uh, has a great regimen there. And I think he's, I think he can ride. He's I think like, he's got another ten years left in him. Ooh, that's and a long that's time. That long time. But for a guy with his mindset, and and he may not want to go another ten years, but I think he's sure got a good solid five really, left in him. Really, really, that's a that's a that's a heck of a comment right yeah. there. Because well, guys are riding longer uh, nowadays than they than they used to. But that's true. But, you know, you get to the time in everybody's career, sometimes it just don't become fun. And then you, like Donnie is a perfect example. You remember Donnie kind of, eh, I'm going to hang it up, hang it up. And then he got tired of sitting at home at the mm -hmm. Mesquite Rodeo Where'd with Neil back? making him work. Certainly. And when that one year, I, I picked, I think his last year was 84, I picked him to be the world's champion before the year started after having one conversation with him. I knew he was going to be back. And I think mm -hmm. that's a little bit about Sage. I right. think when he left Arlington last year. Mm -hmm. yeah, he he had to uh, he had to, to, to rethink things and then, and, 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 which I think he's obviously done, and he's come back stronger than ever. But again, you cannot say enough about Stetson Wright and his burning desire to want to win too. I and, thought he rode as good there last year you know, as anybody ever. As good as anybody ever at the NFR. Uh, that bull, that road, uh, bull ride he made on that bull of uh, Benny's, uh, that smokestack, I think is his name, but man, man, oh man, a bull going away from his hand, jumping in the air, and, Making some rounds, he he handled it like a champ. And uh, but you got this year, you got Clayton Sellers. Uh, boy, he's he's on a hot streak. Just got through winning Salinas himself, and and uh, he's riding good. Uh, he's who focused. is this Creek Young? Let's look at him right there. Man, he's I'm twenty you, years old. He's, he's just a, a kid. He is a kid. I saw him for the very first time uh, this past summer when he was uh, getting on at Greeley, Colorado. And, uh, you know, he stuck it on one there. His get-off liked a lot to be desired, but uh, I think that's something that's gonna come with time. They've just gotta realize that that's every bit as important uh, as getting out of the chute on one and then executing the ride. But you have got to be good at getting away from them. I just hope JB's sound. Well, first JB, but if he's sound, he can ride them all. Well, I'll tell you what, he'll be sound mentally. There's no question. He <laughs> there is no question. sound mentally, <laughs> and, and maybe as maybe maybe more sound mentally than anybody there, because he knows he how good he is, and he don't believe none of them can throw him off. No, and he, he wants to draw the no, best he one. He don't walk around nobody. No. Nope. Not at all. I mean, Not if he all. walks in the bar, Alan Keller's the first son bitch he's gonna hit. Oh yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not saying it's the wise thing to do. I might say the wise, wise thing to do, but he is not afraid of no bull. Mm -mm. No, he's not. And we got down here, Parker. Uh, help me there, Parker's daddy. Well, you me. skipped Dustin Bouquet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And 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 that that kid rides good too, man. Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt about it. He's got all the talent in the world. Uh, there's there's some Louisiana hands here that that can get it done. Um, and then next guy, Parker Bredding, you know. Uh, gosh, am I Help me, well, I'm having a senior. What was his dad? Scott. Scott. Scott, Scott Bredding. Yeah. yeah. And, I think they're good uh, people. I see, Montana folks. I see them. We stay up there a lot in the summer with Mary, and we rodeo up there. And, and uh, Scott goes to a lot of rodeos with Parker and pulls oh, his yeah. rope and stuff. Oh, we get yeah. behind the shoots. Because I, I usually get behind the shoots to video the barrel race and uh, get to visit with Scott quite a bit there. Oh, yeah. Well, He's a good hand, and he he's like he can ride anything on any given day. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And now that. you got this guy down here from Australia, Hi Hamilton, man. Uh, can't say enough good about him. I mean, we've watched him all summer long. Step well, we, up and ride some really good bulls. We watched him finish fourth in the average last year at the finals, and there for a while he was he was in there to win the average and the exactly. whole thing. And then Stetson oh, yeah. and them kind of left him, but he he. Uh, I think he won. I think we'll look at his profile right here. You can't walk away 21 years old, and at last year's national finals won $112,000. Oh, yeah. He had a great final. He ended up fourth in the average, and ended up fourth in the uh, uh, NF4 standings, and fourth in the world standings last year. Yeah. And he's going to school out there at Sol Ross. So you know there ain't much to do out there. No, he, he doesn't get sidetracked much. <laughs> 
Uh, and then our next guy after him is uh, Trey Benton. Mm -hmm. Golly Moses, what a, you know, he's a perennial NFR man. Uh, I was surprised to, knew he roped a little bit. I saw he was entered into team roping at Pendleton this year. Really? And, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, they say he's a good hand on either end of the arena, and and uh, I've seen him ride enough bulls to know that he's a he's a contender always. Uh, Braden Richardson, uh, this is his first year in the NFR, right? Well, let's see. I think it is. You got uh, a profile right here on yeah, him. He's, he's 26 years old. Uh, I'm yes, he's yeah. yeah this is first, his first year. Yeah, he stepped it and, way uh, up this year because he's, he's his been, career earnings is only 132,000. He's won most all that this year. That's exactly right. And at right. 26, I mean, where would he come from? I, you know, I don't know. He he bounced out there on the scene pretty easy and uh, and has been making it making it work. So uh, uh, he he's a good hand as well. Ruger Piva, uh, Idaho. Yeah. Uh, man, that young guy, he can ride. He's and 26 he showed years last up. year. Um, he did great last year as well. Uh, is this his first NFL? I think this is his first year for because uh, last year he ended up 17th as right. highest finish. So I knew he was kind of on the bubble we last got, year. We, but, got, uh, we got rookies in there, and he, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he probably uh, rodeos. Both of them been out of Idaho with Roscoe Jarvo there. And Roscoe's so. made the finals a couple times, hasn't he? Yeah, he ended up sixth and seventh yeah, last year. Yeah, I will year. say so, and, and and that guy rides good too. And I mean, four you know, qualifications. Well, he bounces back and forth too between the the PBR NFR and the PBR. You yeah, know. Uh, he goes to some PBR events, and and so he's he's well versed as a bull rider. Oh, uh, sick down here one more time. We got another guy in there that we can't look yeah, up. We, we what skip. about O'Shane uh, Proctor? Proctor? My gosh, former world champion. Uh, he can ride them all, but he's banged up. I mean, he need to heal up. Well. And he's got a little time between uh, his last performances of the rodeo season this year and, and, and first perfect NFR. So I imagine that's what he's doing. I bet he's going home and uh, taking care of himself, probably doing a little working out in the gym and, and uh, getting ready for 10 head. Who, uh, you've watched it on the Cowboy Channel, is me, this year some, but uh, you pay more attention. Um, Who's got the bull that's going to win the bucket bull of the year? You got any? You got any things? I throwed you under the bus. Right oh, there, you didn't did I? kind of throw me under the bus. I've seen a lot of good ones this year, um, and I just boy, right, just right off the top of my head, I haven't got one that I can throw at you real quick. Uh, you know, uh, boy, I can remember when uh, old uh, Bushwhacker Julio Marino had Bushwhacker. I mean, from the moment I saw that bull buck the very first time. Uh, that I saw him was at a was at the PBR finals uh, when he was just a, just a calf, but boy he showed tremendous athletic ability and and uh, d just both oh, you knew he was going to be a great one. But this year I've seen a lot of good bulls. I tell you I was just at a, 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 a I ran into Terry Williams here last week. Uh, Is Terry still got bulls? Yes, Nicky Wheeler's Memorial Bull riding down in Jacksonville. I'm By sure. the way, there Saturday night. Y'all vote for Nicky Wheeler for the Texas Hall Rodeo of Fame. Cowboy Hall of Fame. He, he, I couldn't He's believe you told me the other day yeah. that he he wasn't in there. He's going to be on the ballot this year. He will like. be on the ballot and and, uh, and, and go back to Nicky. I'm I'm jumping in here. Well, 1978 was the year Nicky. 77 was his final year, NFR year. Uh, we're going to Google that because... You're going to have to because I'm positive I'm 100% correct. Okay, well, if it was, didn't he ride about nine or ten bulls? Rode and nine did, or ten and, just, and didn't win nothing. I don't think he won anything Didn't win nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was, he I rode mean, everything they rode, rode in the sheet. Yeah. But uh, the reason I said that is because I thought it was 78 is because that was the year we had 11 and they didn't pay an average. No, it was 77. Okay, well... It was my right. last year at the NFR, and it was his oh, okay. first, first Okay, year. well, then you but would know. You would know. You would know. You would know because he's a right, hometown boy yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah there okay. Go. Well, I'm not going to do that. It's the thing about it is there is a couple of them matchups we've seen in the last few years in the bull riding as a fan, and more especially last year. I think the bull riding come back to the NFR. I think these boys rode good last year. They they got some of these guys in here that's going to ride again, mm -hmm. and there went a, a, a you know a, a time in the early twenties, the nineties, and stuff like that when there was a big exodus to the PBR with the top bull riders. Mm -hmm. The the pool wasn't deep. You made a statement earlier in one of these deals. There was fifty guys that could win. Oh yeah, in, in our day, in our era, uh, when I was riding bulls for a living. Uh, there was 50 to 60 guys that could 
beat you any day of the week. I think back now there's getting, and, and this is a big deal, I think now there's probably 30 coming back, and I'm gonna say in 10 years going, I'm not beating nobody up. This right. is my opinion based on that. They didn't have 10. Yeah. They went to yeah. a deal that, man, I tell you what, the, the fans would just leave the finals because it was just buck off, buck off, buck off, buck yeah. off. There and we, we and I mean, like people that. go to the rodeo to watch them ride a bull. I don't want to see nobody throw it off. Mm -hmm. I want them to ride every bull, you know. But I want good matchups, too. And and we had some of them story matchups. Uh, Sage rode that one mouse-colored bull there. What was that? He, and the one you two years ago. And... Uh, Bull hadn't been rode and, and rode him the last time. Oh, night. yeah. yeah no, and then last year, Stetson, what did he ride? Oh, that smokestack of Benny's was yeah. just, uh, just a great-looking bull ride. Yeah, you don't see bull rides like that in the past no. few years. But we have the last year. I think we and, got it. And we've seen a lot of great bull rides this past summer. I guarantee you we have. Well, I think and, we have, uh, too. So I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna see a refreshed bunch of top 15 guys get to the NFR, and every one of them going to be pumped up to the max. Uh, and 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 ready to ride. Did we get through the whole whole? I list? think we I, did. I, I did. There was one I, thing I, I was, we didn't talk about Boudreaux. And Roscoe. Did, okay. Uh, uh, and and uh, Boudreaux. I think he's a ex Roy Carter protege from Crockett, Texas. Um, he's got a chance to ride one anytime they open the gate. Man, he has got a lot of try. And uh, well, there you go back to that. There you just mentioned something you said in your day that was. 50 guys that get you your money. Mm -hmm. Roy Carter gets your money any day, and I don't think he ever made the finals. Did not. Roy had a, 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 some sort of medical issue crop up on him every year. He got hurt. Perfect uh, example and, of what and, you just said. I he, mean, Roy, he, Carter. Roy Carter could beat anybody on any given day in a bull run, but he had a hard time getting through Stay a year without sound. an injury. Yep. yep. I and see. That, it. that was it. And then, of course, rounding out the field this year, Roscoe Jarbo. Again, we talked to him about him a little bit a while ago when we were talking about Ruger. Ruger, and uh, but Roscoe's a, a seasoned veteran that could ride one anytime they open the gate. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a a good bull riding. I, I I don't like one thing they have in the bull riding. I do not think it's right that if you ride a bull and that's the only one that gets rode that night, I'll give you all the money, but I can't give you all the points. Well, that, I now see that's that my too. opinion. I know. I see that, too, and it's happened on occasion. Uh, uh, man, I was just looking at some results the other day from a rodeo down in South Texas. They didn't ride with one bull. The guy won $8,000 at a little two-day rodeo. So and, 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 else, and, but, I, uh, and I get that, but let's just say you got a guy up here. You know, we got uh, Sage in there at 264. Okay, well, if you add all that money up right there in the whole deal, and J.B. Mooney just I, is the deal. I just pick it. He's he's a hundred thousand behind. He goes mm -hmm. two nights and he wins it all in that in two nights yeah. and he gets three hundred thousand oh, dollars up yeah. there. Uh, uh I can't give him that. Well, that's that's, that's just that's, my opinion. Old yeah. school. I mean, the rules was we'll give you the money. We just can't count the points. Yeah, yeah. You just get the points for the for the go round win and 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 go from there. But uh, yeah, that's that's. I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. I and another thing, too, in have that. a fluke deal where a guy just gets a windfall, and the next thing you know, he's leading for the world. Well, and also, too, and I'm not sure how they're doing it. Hopefully, they worked it out. It also counted for that Top Gun Award. And as you know, Miss Mary, with her truck up oh, there, yeah, sure. she won that Top Gun Award. Well, if somebody had a, a, a windfall and won it all that night and they counted, you can't beat somebody for that. Well. Yeah. And that's just not right because there's not going to be a night everybody falls off the barrel horse and there's not going to be a night that all that happens in any other event except the bull riding, sometimes the bronc riding. Mm -hmm. You know, that it can happen. Yeah, when both that eliminator up. pin gets cut loose there, you know. But I think they've that. toned that. Speaking of that eliminator pin, and it needed to be done, I don't see no 15 X's in there no more. no. But they they do they have some, but I, I'll tell you what I've seen some in the eliminator pen at the NFR that you'd want any go round that they had. That, exactly. I mean, an eliminator so can be a bull as, that can not, buck you off. Yeah, they're just not quite as even, uh, and and it's hard to get eliminators even too. Yeah, but but, but uh, I, in an eliminator, if you're no score, you're no score. Now if that bull is so rank, you know you can't ride him. He's he's eliminated if you're no score right. versus you know some of them big 15x jaws. I guess that was the most famous oh, eliminator yeah. of all times. They never rode him all year, and you bring mm. him to the finals, and I think Wilcox rode him twice. Mm. I know I had him for my second one there. That was the only place I couldn't turn him out. <laughs>
<laughs> you or you would have. No, I would have. <laughs> and how'd that come out? Uh, I like to throw me through the roof of the Jim Nork <laughs> ring. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. All right. Well, you Bull Rider fans get settled in, and uh, we here's how we're going to do. We've got some uh, information I want to give you. Go to ProRodeoFantasy.com and click on and get their magazine. We just got off the phone with KC. He's, uh, we're going to have a show with him, and he's going to tell us about the new prizes he's got this year and the new things he's got there. But he said right away, uh, they've already got their uh, schedule up. The magazine. The, the magazine up. You can click it, and they'll send you a magazine. And he says you can put that on your uh desk and ponder over the month before you had to send your entry There's in. There's a lot of pondering to be done over there, too. Of There's a lot of useful information in it. It's a real slick, glossy little mag, and uh, uh, it's, again, uh, profantasyrodeo.com is how that's phrased on the website. So uh, And uh, he's got stats on there to how... You know, the strategy, do you pick two teams? Do you set, split your teams? You know, how who your the winners robots, are yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. But the bottom line is... You got to have that one guy in every event that's hot. That's exactly right. It's that's exactly you. You right. just can't have no duds. Uh, you just can't have an off night either. Yeah, I mean, I mean you can. Uh, nobody can have an off night. You nobody. Oh, your on. team's got to be off. Yeah. You know, when you go through there, it's hard to pick. It's hard to pick one event who's going to be the world's champion. We oh, went yeah. through this whole deal, and and this is not. Uh, who's going to be the champ? We mostly talked about that. Right. This is who's going to win the money at the finals. Right. It's like picking a trifecta, man. Yeah, it's it's, it's tough, difficult. but you go to Casey's deal, and by the way, we've got one more we're throwing in. Please click on our uh, website, and you can go to his site, and we've got our own league. Our league will be called Rodeo Today. We're going to get to you. There will be a, a code name number on our deal that you... Type rodeo today to join our and, league. To join our league, we want to invite everybody. Like us on Facebook and everywhere else, and you join our league, and we're going to get you some special prizes besides the belt buckle you win. We may have some tickets, some trips, and some stuff like that that we're going to throw in with KC that we're working on. Is this as as we progress more through this rodeo today but that we will announce later when we do have that final show that we do right before the NFR when I do get to see your team and you get to see my team. There you go. Well, I think it's been a good one. Well, it's been a bit of good. Enjoyed it. I right. did, too. Y'all come back to see us at more of these podcasts. This is ones we've done with the NFR picks. We're going to release these. We're going to have some extra seasons coming up. We're going to talk about the greatest of all times is our next topics. We're going to talk about some of the characters of Rodeo. We won't even include ourselves in that well, discussion. We'll, yeah, we won't. But we know some of them old boys out there who we rodeoed with that need that special recognition. Why, and, certainly. And I think Doug Vogue would be right up at the top of the list. Right at the top. <laughs> right at the tippy top. <laughs> all right. Y'all have a good, we're going to cut it off and we're going to have one more show back to you when we give our final picks and that will be right before the National Finals Rodeo the last day because, you know, it's not fair for you to cheat off us. Oh, no, no, no. I can't see your picks. No, but we're looking forward. <laughs> see you later. Adios, amigos. <laughs>